Finding a secluded part of the park and yelling at a camera in it. This is told to someone. First question is uh, from Izef. Who'll stop the rain? Well, um, nobody will because it's not raining where I am. And where I am is the only place that actually exists to me at this time. So, um, that's... There's no rain, so nobody's going to stop it ever. Until it starts raining. But that's not a time or a place where I'm at now. So I don't care. Next question is from Rob Bone. It turns out that the parents of the child I kidnapped are more wealthy than I anticipated. I don't want to insult them by setting such a small ransom, but uh, I, if I demand more than $10,000, I'll have to declare it in my taxes. How do I proceed uh, so that I neither breach etiquette or common courtesy and nor over overpay the uh, government for something that is just a hobby? Well, OK, here's where money laundering comes in. Um, if you're... If your uh, kidnap target, for example, is owns a casino, right? What you do is you uh, send uh, pe send people in there, organising with the croupier in advance, and um, you you tell them to let them win, let them win. And the casinos know how to do this. They know how to do this really, really well. You let them win, so they buy a hundred dollar, uh, hundred dollars worth of. Uh, chips and they go out with $10,000 worth of chips, $10,100 uh, plus a little something for themselves because, you know, um, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, it's only common courtesy to uh, give your uh, smurfs, well that's, I think that's what they're called, uh, a little bit something for themselves so they don't go to the police because, you know, doing that sort of thing is kind of illegal. Oh. I shouldn't have said that, all those ideas, but that's what money launderers do anyway. So, in the hypothetical chance that you did all of those things, which all of them are illegal, that is how, and, and the people own a casino, that's how you get away with it. Or you could just keep Ivanka. Or is it Tiffany? You stole Tiffany, didn't you? Can you give her to me? reasons. She'd probably enjoy it with me rather than, you know, daddy touchy. Next question is um, from uh, Bugsy's Evil Deeds. Uh, where did I go? You went over there. Um, I, I could show you where over there is, but um, this is um, that it's outside the um, view of the camera, so I can't tell you exactly where you went, but you went there. You always go there. You always go there. So, um, it's the same place you usually go. Next question, Joe Freddy. How do you treat your furballs? Uh, you know, you, you just shampoo them regularly and uh, dry them with a blow dryer. Not too hot though, not too hot. You know, it can, you don't want frizzy furballs, no. Next question is um, Roll of Nichols. It appears that the uh, Aussie fascists have uh, decided to stretch their wings and attack press freedoms by uh, raiding press offices, all without the assistance of Abbott in swear swimwear. How very cheeky indeed. Can the progressive Aussies put a stop to the attacks on the press? Well, um, the press offices that were ra raided belonged to Rupert. Murdoch. Um, so I, um, so I'm pretty conflicted about this. I mean, they also did the ABC, but you know, Big Ted and Little Ted, they've got something to, look at this picture. Look at this picture of the actual raid on the ABC offices. Yeah, Humpty Dumpty. He's got something to hide. That's all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. Um, yeah, I've got nowhere to go from here, so I'm just going to go to the next question. Um, 
The Great Fish asks, you're such a good dresser, so can you tell me where you buy your clothes and uh, can you give me some tips? Well, of course, you've got to... Um, I, I got this at the place that sells cheap clothes and this is a different place that sells cheap clothes. I don't know whether you have these uh, brands in Australia, but I can... I, I'm not going to say which places that sell cheap clothes, especially the place that sold me my hat, mostly because they didn't give me money. And I need money and I like money, so I can't do it. I can't do it um, because I need money. Um, if you would like to give me money, then you can give me money and then I can tell you places to go to buy stuff if you give me a commission. Next question, uh, Jonathan Cern, if you could uh, uh, travel in time to some time, uh, would you travel to the end of all, all mankind? Um, well, I could travel to the end of all mankind, but um, that's spoilers, really, unless I didn't come back, and I might be dead at the time, so um, I'll just continue going forward in the direction of the future, um, at the rate of one day per day, and I should be there eventually, even if I'm dead. Um, next question is Epic Lols Man. Favourite food? <sighs> question mark. So I know it's a question, but he doesn't ask me what about my favourite food it is that he wants to question. Um, so I could just say balut or anything, and um, I, I don't actually know what he's going to ask about Balut, whether um, whether I like the crunchy, um, the the, um, the crunch of the um, baby duck's head, or the uh, jellied mess that is its insides, or whatever. So um, I can't really answer that question satisfactorily. I'm sorry. Last question for the day, of course, is the gingerhead man. Uh, if you could try time travel to only one time and then come back shortly, uh, which time would you travel to? Um, I'll, I'll just check. Right now! He's right, you know. Well, that's me, isn't it? And that's it for Tell Someone for this week. If you would like to ask me a question, then ask me the question in the place below. Um, oh yes, I've got to say stuff during the bit where I do the answers to the dovetail question because I forgot to uh, actually put put that in during an actual question. So I'm just going to wrap it on a bit while all those things take place. And I think they should be done in any minute now. Uh, how about that sports team from Canada? They won the sports thing. Oh yeah. And uh, isn't Trump an idiot? Um, Let's stay current by saying things that usually happen often. Oh yeah, I'm being current in this winter solstice day. That's not current, except during the winter solstice. But it could work next year, during the winter solstice, if a sports team from Canada won and one of the Trumps did something idiotic. That's it for telling someone for this week. If you would like to ask me a question, then ask me a question in the question asking place down below, or you can answer this dovetail question over here. I'm dangerously talented, and I... Yeah, well, OK, I'm, I'm going to do some... I'm going to do other videos this week, and, you know... I'd like some ideas to riff off, basically. Um, and now I've got to look in, like, some sort of question that I do get something to. I think it's cheating and I don't know why. I'm dangerously talented and I don't have a cool sign-off.